Hello and welcome to Inkscape for Teachers. In this video I'll be showing you how I use the extrude tool to uh, generate these shapes. Previously I just created separate shapes and faces and put them together to form solid objects but I uh, didn't realise you could also do this. I'll show you. Um, let me perhaps start with view page grid. Actually I'll zoom in a bit and use the Bezier pen tool want to snap to that grid. Uh, let's do something like uh, this and create uh, you know, the top to a rectangular prism. I'll control D to duplicate that. Control drag, drag it down to say there. Now I'll turn the grid off. You can generate these shapes a number of ways by skewing a rectangle but uh, anyway. Turn off the page grid. Select them both and page objects to paths, so they're genuine paths, not skewed rectangles. Um, well actually they already were paths, I didn't need to do that. Uh, if I'd worked with a rectangle, uh, create a rectangle this way, and selection tool, click again, and skewed it. If I press N for the node tool, you see that this little circular controller here that helps you around corners, uh, that's still a rectangle, not a path. But if I create it from the busy A pen tool, it is actually a path, so I didn't need to do that step then. Anyway, once they're two paths, select them both under extensions, generate from path, extrude, and you can uh, leave it on polygons, it builds faces rather than just uh, individual lines. You can do a live preview, and there it is, apply and close. You notice the shape has some degree of transparency applied because we can see through the faces. What you can also do is uh, ungroup it because it's, I think it's a collection of, yep, yeah, if, if I move one of them, yep, yeah, oh, I can see the uh, extruded parts, to, uh, uh, one group. Control U to ungroup that, give it a couple of times just to be sure. If you want to colour a face, uh, perhaps say the front face red, under the fill you can see that the, the opacity is not turned down but another way of controlling the fill, just the fill. Uh, transparency is in the alpha channel here. If we drag this, uh, sorry there it is, drag that fully up, you can see it uh, completes the face. This face, let's make that uh, say blue, and you can see if we change the alpha channel up to the top, it comes to the front. This one at the back we might want to make say green, again it's light because of the uh, alpha channel, can drag that all the way up up there, or we'll just type in 255, <coughs> excuse me, and the final one, make that pink, and again drag the alpha channel up to the top there. Now that's uh, technically an open box because that was the extruded bit. If I want to put the top back on, perhaps uh, make that yellow, and I'll do the same to, the, to that, I could have done it in one hit, but anyway and drag that across. Now it's behind the new bit because it was created before so we can bring it to the front and the top that way and this way we might want to leave it behind. So there's one way to uh, create a box using the extrude function. You can also do that uh, with the Bezier pen tool just create any old shape. I'll just create something uh, there and it's already a path, I don't have to go to path, object to path. Control D to duplicate that. Select both of them. And again, under extensions, generate from path, extrude. I'll just go apply and close. And you can see that's a very powerful, quick way of getting a, a shape. Um, be good for uh, you know volume or 3D uh, solids topic. Okay. I think that uh, completes uh, this. I won't show you how you can um, colour in these. If you did need to bring a face to the front you know, for some reason or the top, just remember you can click on something. I'll just use this one as pink. Oh, it's done the whole lot because it's still a group. Control ungroup. I wanted to make that one say red and uh, bring up the alpha. It's already in the front, but uh, sometimes uh, things can get a bit mixed up. You can send it to the back or you can bring it to the front using these uh, icons here. Anyway, another powerful and handy function within Inkscape, and as always, thanks for watching.